In this DIY video, we will learn how to create an IoT mouse trap. This mouse trap sends us a notification when a mouse is caught in it. Let me thank JLCPCB for sponsoring this project. You can manufacture your PCBs for as little as 2 US dollars. The quality of their PCB is excellent and I recommend them. You will need the notification gadget and the link to purchase it is in the description. It processes the sensor information, connects to the internet and sends us a notification when the sensor is triggered. You will need a sensor interface wire with a JSTXH connector attached to it. This wire is included with the notification gadget. The sensor for the mouse trap is a SPDT switch. This is also called a limit switch. There are three terminals on it. These are COM, NO and NC. We will need stiff wire to tie together parts in the project. To fit parts together, we will use a piece of scrap acrylic. We have drilled 3 mm holes as demonstrated here, to fit the switch and the notification gadget. We use a spoke from a cycle as well. We will see in a short while, the use of this part. I borrowed it from a local cycle shop. We start building the project by connecting the sensor wire to the switch. You can either connect the wires by twisting them to the terminals, or soldering them. As a first step, I am using a soldering iron to deposit solder metal on the terminals. Once the terminals are tinned, we can solder the wires to them. We have to connect the wires to the COM and the NO terminals. I have identified the correct terminals. Let us go ahead and solder the wires. The terminals on your limit switch may vary, so please check the connections twice. Here is how the finished connections should look. Once the switch is soldered, we can assemble the electronics on the piece of acrylic. I am using a 3 mm nut to fasten the switch to the acrylic. We want to ensure the entire lever of the switch is outside the edge of the acrylic. Here is how the wire from the switch is bent and inserted into the notification gadget. The notification gadget has four holes on its corners. We insert a piece of wire in these holes and twist it on the back. To keep the gadget level, we are using 10 mm nylon spaces between the acrylic and the notification gadget. The nylon spaces are placed as shown, and the wire is inserted through them. The ends of the wire are twisted together on the back of the acrylic. The mouse trap needs to be modified so that the door presses the limit switch when the door closes. We use the spoke and place it accordingly on the door of the mouse trap. 
we then use stiff wire pieces to twist and hold the spoke to the door. Let us go ahead and insert the ESP01 module, which has been configured to send us a notification. Insert the module carefully, aligning the pins on the module correctly with the holes on the notification gadget. You will see three pins at this location, pointed by the pencil tip. Use the supplied jumper between the center pin and the pin on the left, the one closer to the ESP01 module. Review the position of the ESP01 again, to ensure it is inserted correctly. Once reviewed, we can connect a source of power. The output voltage of the power source should not exceed 6 volts DC. Here I am connecting the source of power into the DC jack. Let's turn it on. You will notice the light glows, indicating the notification gadget is on and ready to accept triggers from sensors. Before we can install the acrylic and the electronics on the mousetrap, we should test it a couple of times. You can manually trigger the notification by pressing the limit switch. We can check the phone on which IFTTT is configured, if a notification is received. Check the video description to understand how to debug the notification gadget. Placement of the electronics is a little tricky. You can do a dry fit, meaning, it can be moved around. The spoke which was attached to the door, should press the limit switch completely when the door is closed. You can adjust the acrylic a little to ensure the switch is pressed when the door is closed. Once we are happy with the placement, we can attach the acrylic piece to the mousetrap. I am using two pieces of wire and twisting them to hold the acrylic piece with the mouse trap. Notice that the door of the trap is open, and as the door will close immediately. Do this step very carefully. A lot of force and kinetic energy will be applied to the switch and the acrylic, in this direction. We need to ensure the acrylic piece or the switch never shifts. Tie the wire to the mouse trap in this manner, which locks it in place. Let us go ahead and trigger the mouse trap. I am holding the trap with a plier, just to ensure that I do not get hurt in any way. Using a pencil, I trigger the mouse trap. Here we are seeing it in slow motion. You will notice the spoke on the door ended up pressing the switch lever. This will happen when a mouse gets caught inside the trap. Thanks for watching.